Hi my dear Uncle Tom, hi my dear Redneck, uh, what's new in your life? I'm a Russian man who learns English through my own experiences and today we're gonna join to one perfect person. Uh, who is it? It is uh, our Dave Chappelle, let's do this together. All right, now we can uh, do terroristic things like bombs, uh, maybe it will be F-bombs, maybe it will be N means uh, like an <laughs> Uncle Tom bombs. Uh, let's do this together. Let's watch it with this uh, kind of Eddie Murphy stuff. I'm serious. By the way, I maybe will not com may maybe I will comprehend, maybe will not comprehend uh, this uh, this talk, but I will try to understand it and in the end of this video I will try to retell story, okay? It's one time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. <laughs> I, w I, was coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese, I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> it is uh, conquering of uh, Chinese conquering. I know that many of uh, Chinese tourists right now in Russia, and it is so. It is not super annoying, but I want to say that it is really conquering of Russia right now. But it, in this story, we have conquering of uh, airplane. It's like a terrorist, sir. <laughs> Chinese. I was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't need to talk, I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him, I was like. Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. Why? <laughs> it, ah, I understood this. It is black, uh, black people are slaves. It's fact. And uh, on the airplane, I'm not racist. I just joke. And uh, on this plane, white people, the greatest race of whole world, was watching to black people and uh, started to think, hmm, we have two, like, uh, victims that can be our how to say it, I will google it, uh, need to translate it, it will be really a correct use of this word, it is like a victim, but one moment, it is will be bait, bait, bait or lure, yes, or decoy, okay, let's continue, mm -mm. <laughs> but they didn't want it, we were just wow, it is the same place. Where? Uh, where? Where is the stand-up? It is the same place how uh, he was speaking on topic about uh, about Donald Trump, about Donald Trump election. Wh what's what's the place? Is it New York? No, it is not New York. It, is it Britain? Communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. Really? Because uh, terrorists are not racists and they have tolerance inside of their blood. I have yet to see one of us on the news Reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. 
Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, Jason Newport. I don't know who is Ray Ray, but I understood the joke that uh, it is so uh, so stupid to ask help uh, from government if you are black, because government uh, maybe if if it's not uh, Uncle Tom Obama government uh, it. Uh, this government will be unuseful for this situation and uh, people will not be so uh, sympathizing to black people especially nourish you're not gonna see it and terrorists are smart they know what they're doing there you know they terrorists they know black people's bad bargaining chips Bar bargaining chips, black people, but bargaining, bargaining, what is bargaining? Ah, bargaining it is so like, uh, I know one more. Bargaining. Bargaining, negotiating, yeah. They call the White House, hello, we have got five black, hello. It is joke, <laughs> yes, it is good joke, but uh, it is so understandable maybe for uh, really... One moment, I will... For inclined, for inclined uh, black people. You'll be back in D.C. You know, I was thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm gonna ask you, your white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell you something, that is a cultural thing. He knows who he's gonna vote for, he's just not gonna tell me. I did the dissent. See, I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey Bob, uh, Bob. Who are you going to vote for? Dave, Dave, whoa, 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 take it easy now. Take it easy. So anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! Dave, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. I I understood correct that uh, he he sp had spoke he had spoken about um, a <laughs> situation that black people are not going to elections so much yes or n not. Okay, let's continue. They don't like to divulge that information because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people will openly talk about politics. Black people will openly talk about beating up politicians. Openly talk about politics? They like openly talk about shit. <laughs> if I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. Ah, <laughs> uh, because black people are speaking about polit polit political questions so with freedom because nobody will do something bad for them because okay, okay, okay. uh, if they will speak something bad uh, something because so, if government will do punishment for black person black person can say hey government you are you are racist no, I would just say it. But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people see, see, even when I vote, right? Which I don't. But, but, <laughs> but even when I like, think about like, who I would vote for, right? I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. 
You know what I'm saying now? You got a ring on. Ah, it means that he will look for. Uh, he will look for. Uh, characteristics. Characteristics uh, of uh, this person. Like skills. Charisma. Different things inside of uh, persona personality, yes. About personality he will look for, but not about about this policies. I'm serious, you gotta read between the lines. Like, you know, you look at Clinton and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on a... By the way, what's different between got to, out to, and have to, and should? Please let me know in the comment section if you will help me. I, I will thank you for you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks uh, in advance. Okay, I saw one thing on a campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. Okay. One moment. Well, you look at Clinton and black people like Clinton. because We've seen him on a campaign. I saw one thing on on a campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! Just <laughs> Come here, little nigga baby. <laughs> it's funny. I said, mm -hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see, George Bush Jr., he be that, oh. But George Bush, uh, George Bush not so... In this... Moment at this point, uh, he said, like George Bush don't doesn't like nigger babies. Yes, oh, and that uh, George Bush will look at uh, them like, hey, you are nigger baby, you are shit baby. Like, see, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. Not in the White House. I don't understand uh, why they do ovations uh, so loud. Maybe need to watch again. Have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. Not in the White House. Mm -mm. I shrugged God my damn. shoulders. The stakes are too high in the White House. You can't have no coke head president. Mm -mm. He'd be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. He'll be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. I suck your dick. Like, what the? Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. Stop <laughs> sucking the ambassador's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. <laughs> I really understand this joke. Uh, this joke about uh, that all, uh, all, uh, all slaves in government, uh, like ambassadors, uh, are trying to uh, leak uh, ass of uh, president, leak, uh, leak balls, uh, balls of. Uh, <laughs> president, even if it will be not uh, American president, it, if it will be Russian president or even Sweden, Sweden uh, president, <laughs> if it will be Sweden president, uh, they will leak uh, meatballs, but <laughs> Sweden and <laughs> you understood it. Okay, let's get it down. I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel finally. <laughs> I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always better. Clinton is girl, yes? One moment, I need to Google. I am so smart. Clinton.
Ah, Bill Clinton. Jesus Christ. I always... Ah, we have Hillary Clinton. Is uh, Hillary Clinton... His... 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 This kind of person of... Family member. Daughter. <laughs> now again... I'm not looking at his politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. <laughs> I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, come on now, let's, let's be honest, let's, let's be honest. Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what he did. Now, now. What, uh Bill Clinton did, uh, I didn't understand, but before was talk about uh, cocaine and uh, I understood uh, maybe Bill Clinton was president who did legalizing of uh, Mary Jane, yes, and weed and uh, crack pipes uh, in the uh, United States or not. Why, why this talk, uh, this talk about it? Now let's just, let's just, let's... Let's think back for a minute. Remember a guy named, named Kennedy? John F. Kennedy? One moment. It's 11.22.63. Kennedy is here. Hello. Remember him? He fought Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact... He fought Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe wanted to be president. Him and his brother Bobby fuck Marilyn Monroe. And his brother Bobby fuck Marilyn Monroe. He said that fucked on the road means that uh, smashed uh, their or their hats were smashed or what? And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. They, they was getting it on. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes? Should be singing on there. Nancy, this party, stressing them out. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. <laughs> It is, uh, I don't know about what, but maybe it is about uh, president uh, entertaining, entertaining, entertaining girl for one night stand or uh, what, for what? Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that. Because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was. He was a busy man. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. <laughs> I can tell that's what Clinton They fuck who's close to them. Means that uh, it is like a quote. Quote from uh, Confucius or maybe from Plato or maybe somebody from... Uh, <laughs> somebody once told me the wall is gonna roll me. From Shrek movie. <laughs> from Shrek movie. Men do. They fuck who's close to them. Busy, busy men fuck who's close to them. This phrase from Shrek, maybe. Quote. Line. I can tell that's what Clint was up to. Look like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. I need my penis up for my 330, come on. Oh boy. <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus is so it's so really. If if we will And in the top it off he If if Russian man we, if Russian man will joke like this way about Putin or Medvedev or somebody from our government it will be this type of hashtag uh, with steel. It uh, it will be a prison, prison cell uh, for uh, fifteen years at least, 
or maybe it will be death. Because in our country, it is so authoritarian country, not democracy so much right now, but uh, government uh, <laughs> is speaking that, yes, it is democracy right now in our country and uh, all is good. But we, like uh, citizens, understand that uh, our situation is uh, going to <laughs> fucking asshole. And uh, yes, it is interesting, interesting to watch this. Interesting to watch this. The reason why terrorists want to take black people as uh, hostages. I this talk about from uh, airplane flying to to politics questions issues uh, talk first of all the story how did i understand it how have i comprehended it first of all story started from airplane when th they were flying on airplane he and uh, another path passengers and one more nigga passenger and uh, they were uh, and in one moment one chinese person started to do started to do like a special special deals like hey man uh, shut the fuck up and uh, i'm going to ride this horse uh, airplane and uh, <laughs> i'm gonna ride till i can no more and uh, after that story continuing uh, is continuing and uh, on this moment at this point we we was transforming to story that uh, if uh, black people will be like hostages the this kind of hostages will be unuseful for government to do negotiating deals and after that talk started to be about government government things about bill clinton hill clinton uh, kennedy and other t t things and uh, that government uh, is so suckable because everybody sucks uh, different suckable dick and uh, in in this government and ambassadors are uh, going to open their mouths because uh, everybody wants to please uh, black people and talk started to, uh, started to be more uh, about black people in the government and that uh, hillary clinton can do this for or somebody can do this uh, kiss of a black nigga baby and somebody can't interesting talk by the way sorry it is not racism it is only speaking about this uh, kind of topics i'm tolerant i'm tolerant for black people black people are uh, equal equal to white people i know about it and I wish, I, 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 I wish if I will be, I, I want to be a black person for one day to feel it. Especially in uh, slavery time, especially in uh, Uncle Tom time. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and uh, have a nice day. And our our journey of learning English is continue. You can recommend your your comedians and your stories it will be interesting to know thanks so much see you next time and you know that all depends only on you and your whole life i'm continuing i'm learning it i'm learning it and uh, recommend more